to our podcast. Yeah! We're glad to be back, Ben and Rainy over there. And today we're talking about the origins of Thanksgiving. Yep, coming straight from the Journals of Awakening. Let's get into it. Yeah, ye. So, what do you want to talk about as far as Thanksgiving goes? What the hell is that? Who? Where's that duck? <laughs> Did you hear that? I didn't fart, if that's what you're getting at. So, back <laughs> in the day... 1621. Thanksgiving, guys, is what we're talking about. Thanks fucking giving. Thanks for giving us your country, natives. So <laughs> when you were growing up, <coughs> what did you think Thanksgiving was? <coughs> uh, well, I I was a bookworm a little bit in school. Not bookworm, but I listened to my teachers, so I thought it was uh, the movie Pocahontas. <coughs> Accurately. I figured it was like Pocahontas. The white guys came here, fought them all off, I say white guys and I'm mad at myself. The Europeans. He told me not to say I white know, guys. I know, because it's racist. You don't, you don't say white people. It's racist. <coughs> it's like saying black people. You can't say it. It's racist. No, I know, because back in the day, Europeans were Brown a lot different. People. So. <laughs> Yellow people. Uh-huh. Then it gets real racist. Eh? You guys seen that Key and Peele episode, right? That about, about the Power do. Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, it's hilarious. <coughs> so, yeah, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving because I don't like what it represents. I get it. You should be thankful. Be with your family. Yada, yada. But why choose that day? Why that day? And who decided that was the day? Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. What year was that? 18 what? 18, like, 64 or something 61, like that. 61, something like that. Yeah. 240 years 200 later. 200 years later, you guys. Come on. 240. Think about how corrupt the story has, or how much the story has been twisted. Yeah, or if it didn't even happen at all. Or if it happened at all. Exactly. You guys really believe this shit? It's like the same people who believe in something that was written over 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Same shit, dude. Oh. Like, why, why are you believing in this, man? Exactly. So, Damn. but there is something to be said about, okay, for example, Connor's going to go with me to my mom's house on Thanksgiving. Celebrate some family time. But right? he's not going to think it's Thanksgiving. We're just having, we're hanging out at Granny Ma's house and yeah. having a nice dinner and putting up the Christmas tree. Right. It's it's more like a Christmas tree celebration. Like a chore. Cook and put Ooh, up a Christmas that's tree? that's such a good idea. <laughs> you don't, no, because Christmas trees, my mom's always made it fun. Oh, you shit. You put on the music, you break all the what? stuff out. You yeah, like the movies. Nice <laughs> like the movies. No, that's what, my mom always tried her best to make it as nice the as holidays? possible. Yeah. Or, um, or Christmas, or Thanksgiving specifically. Sorry. Uh, Christmas specifically. Um, but yeah, Thanksgiving. So lots of food. Family, yeah, so gatherings. we're gonna do that, but Connor's not gonna know it's Thanksgiving. Um, put on like European music for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't even know what it would sound like. But that's European. Sure. <laughs> you, I'm like forty percent European. I really don't get why you keep saying that. I don't know. I'm like forty percent native. You're definitely someone in your ancestors came from the Europe's. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I yeah, got that from Because exactly. I don't go outside. I'm a YouTuber. No, but that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god! But that's what I mean, you know. And that's, you know, it's you, you can't. The reason we're called white people is because most of us descended from Europeans, and they were the original white people. They were like so when you see diaries or. Not diaries, but like um, Native Americans. So you know how they tell stories down, which I believe their stories a lot more, right? Oh yeah. So they <coughs> they are what called us the white people originally, because we were the white people that came and stole their land, and that's how we got the name white people. So it is racist. It, no, it's see. Then that's the thing with Native Americans. They're not vindictive like that. Uh, they just okay. call it how they observe it. So if you're a right, fat right, woman, right, right. your Native American name is the fat woman. But calling a Native American red—that's red racist. Is because that racist? yes, because I mean, how else would you define the skin color? Well, because um, we're not the kind of people. It's it's, it's so. You see weird. what I'm saying? No, yeah. no, no! You're not letting me explain. I'm totally okay. letting you explain. She attacked me. Did you guys hear I'm that? sorry. She keep doing that. You keep breaking Go my on. thoughts. So, white people. I say white people because in all of history, white people were the only people trying to like, like I'm talking like early history, right? Like right, slaves right, right, right. and Native Americans. Yeah. 
So, um... <clears throat> Power tripping ass pale people. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like... It was just like genetic. So, when white people decide to call them the Redskins out of hatred, you know? And obviously the Native Americans probably started calling them white people before they hated them. Because the white people had to pretend to be their friend first and then kill them. Right. So I've seen both honestly. Yeah, so white people was just a name given based off of observation. That's how they name everyone, you know? I get it, but think about like being called white boy. Well, it's it's turned into a negative term. Yeah. Okay. For sure. It's definitely made that term, but that's not how it started. It didn't start like that. It's but those are the origins and now it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. So I mean. But <laughs> We're definitely white people, whether it's literal or not. Isn't that crazy? We are white people. It kind of sucks. Yeah, our honestly. background is way more diverse than fucking Europeans. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's that's true. And I it mean, just sucks that we get classified. It's, it, it is what it is, though. There's probably, like you said, Cedric, my buddy uh, yeah. from Sierra Vista. He, uh, half white. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up. He looks 100% black. Yeah. So, like purely. But he talks 100% white. <laughs> it's okay. so weird. But then you open a can of worms that I'm but not sure. But you don't sure. identify I'm not sh yeah. Yes, you do. That's so what, what? No, that's what I'm saying. You open a can of worms that I'm not sure you're prepared to hear. Oh. It doesn't matter what your background is. You're treated the way you're looked. And that's just it, period. You just, everybody reads the cover and yes. that's it? They yes, yes. So, it doesn't matter if he's white or black, or if he's mixed, he's black. You know, that's just, that's just how it is. It's crazy. My friend growing up, half white, half black, and, but he looked black. So I know, everybody but, thought he was black. So people treat them like they're black. Like when it comes to privileges and who gets what first, you know? No, then, I don't believe in that. Well, that's because... I grew up with black people. And yeah. I, I do not believe that. Unless I was treated like blacks. So I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I got the same bullshit treatment. Like, I was always less. Not... I was the poor guy. You know, I was the fucking... Yeah. And I'm sure I was your friends wrong. knew that. But I'm sure when you go to interviews, you are probably selected over a black candidate. That's fucked up, guys. But it's true. And, that, and it comes, you know, straight from stories of black people. And I think that, you know, listen to people when they talk. Nobody wants to be hated. You know, right. so that's what you find. That's that was the whole like Black Lives Matter thing is because people like the loser people, like someone in my family who really you know is losers. Yeah, like uh, racist people. Yeah. Basically. Oh yeah, we got some racist people. Oh, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. So he's such a dick. No, no, he's not. <laughs> okay. I don't like that. We got it. We got it. No, oh, whatever. Go on. Okay. <laughs> There's a few things I did, and if that were the case, no, I know. You know, I got right. a fan base to maintain, and I love all people. I love humans. Okay, let's get it's into just, let's get talking. into this guy. I love him as a person. He has a huge heart. You know, he wants everybody to be in his family. He wants everybody to be welcoming, but he's extremely judgmental. Yep. You know, and that's so. That is the person I'm talking about. All those people who voted for Trump. They're all the same, just like that. You really think them all like my brother is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my brother is, and he loves That's Trumpy. what I'm saying. <laughs> all the people that voted for Trump obviously are looking at people by what they look like. Exactly. And Judging that's, everybody by uh -huh. the cover. Even me, like emo-ish, you know, they fucking shoot me down. Yeah, with your tattoos. I'm Wait not one shade them in, you know, yeah. which I totally would love to do today. Anyway, um... Shade some tattoos. Fuck yeah. So yeah, um... I just genuinely think that, uh, you know, like... I was just going to say, I genuinely think that the country was stolen, and I don't think that's anything to celebrate. I think it's something we can say sorry for every year. How about that? Yeah. But every year we apologize. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How about that? Let's stop being thankful and start saying sorry. Do something for your native people. Think about those tiny you know, little donate fucking native to the communities. reservations. Yeah, think about those reservations. Okay, so think about this. That's I, all they got left. I work in a great store, okay? And we have a lot of historical fiction novels. And historical fiction means, um, like, stories that didn't really happen, but they're based on a time where they could have. Right, right. Okay, so this, a lot of the ones I read are about um, the Native Americans, like, living deep within the Native Americans. And it's just really crazy 
to see that uh, like Europeans literally stole their land mm -hmm. and then locked them up in reservations. Yep, in tiny little slabs. You know they weren't allowed to leave the reservations back in the day? No. Well, yes, wow. they had to stay. You see, guys, that that's, called, their, that's called like a Nazi camp. Yeah. Yeah, that's so <laughs> exactly. So that's what Native Americans went through, except they sorry, don't call America, it that. Sorry, but not sorry. That's exactly. What no, that that's was. exactly what it was, and yeah. that's that's what they did to them, and that's they didn't kill doing. them off, but you we're know educated. they might as well have. And look it up, guys. Look it up. And the crazy thing is, is that they don't get attention. Okay, so, so having slaves is the same thing, except they're your own personal Nazi mm -hmm. camp. Right. You know, and right. everybody has. Everybody's in the same boat, okay? Right, right. If you weren't, you went to the northern states like Michigan, Ohio. Right, right. Um, so those people are the same people now that can't change, that won't learn to love, okay? So yeah. if I was black, I would probably feel very angry as well. Yeah. And if I was Native American, I would always feel angry. Yeah, because, because your land was agree. stolen yeah. and built upon. This land is your land. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. This land is now our land. Exactly. <laughs> From California. Oh my God, so, I'm remixing that so song. So why are we <laughs> celebrating the beginning of our war? We need to be apologizing every year. Yeah, but you got to change the narrative too because <laughs> that's just what it is, right? It's just a label. Yeah. So, but... So you change the quit, tradition. Yeah, quit, it's like celebrating serial killers. Why do you do it? You know? Yeah, like turn it into a Why Christmas tree decoration, which will be a later podcast. A tr like Christmas tree decorating day. You know, right, something right, like that. Right. A whole tribute so, to that. Yeah, yeah, so it's just changing the narrative. Not saying... Breaking cycles, people. Not telling people happy Thanksgiving, you know? There you go. Happy holidays is great for everything. I use that. Yeah, <laughs> That's happy my go-to. Hey, happy holidays, bro. And that <laughs> is for everything. And so <laughs> I think that's fair. I don't like Thanksgiving because of what it was based on and where it is rooted. Yep, and that really didn't hit me until recent years, you know? Well, both of us. Both that's of called us, waking yeah. up. Called waking up. Like, realizing that this has always been a broken system. Now, I like where we live. Mm -hmm. Because we live in a place where everybody's treated equally. It's a small community. Like, yeah. yeah <clears throat> well, that's just it. A uh, uh, native or a uh, um, black or a uh, Chinese, anything. They could Asian, they could move here. Yeah. <laughs> and they'd be treated 100% equal. They're, they're you treated. You have to have a small enough community to where it matters. You know? But you also need to get yourself out in the community or else that's when judgment and that's when you feel like you don't belong. It's because yeah. people are like, who are you? You know, you oh, gotta, yeah, no, you gotta stick your neck out there. Yeah, you be gotta make yourself yeah, present. Part of it. Yep. Cause yeah, and it's just um Luckily for me I grew up here. <laughs> I know. So I don't have to do shit, everybody not, knows I exist. Isn't that funny though? Yeah. You're not like a secret husband. You're no. just like what's everybody going, knows me. What's yeah. up with Ben? Like Everybody knows Ben. They just know that Ben does not get out of the house. <laughs> I, which I don't get why people have a problem with that. I don't know. Remember I know, when you did get out of the house when you were fifteen? Yeah. <laughs> those those dims was jail. Yeah. Years. So why are they like? Why is it been getting out of the house? Obviously. Staying Obviously. Out of trouble, motherfuckers. You feel guilty, right? right? You know, it's like why don't Obviously. people put these pieces? Oh, people that don't remember you or know you don't put those pieces to you. Why doesn't Ben get out of the house? If you knew Ben when he was fifteen, you wouldn't want him to. You know. Right. <laughs> That's so funny. But uh. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot more new people I'm in town. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> That's hilarious. <coughs> really not true anymore. People don't realize. <laughs> and the people that. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. I'll wait. Yeah, it's, like, it's that Sagittarius in me. <laughs> what? What? Uh, <coughs> Sagittarius. Oh, no. Um, the fire. Oh. You oh. think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I say Sagittarius because I'm funny. I know. Not, no, <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. She doesn't like that word. Sensitive. Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> anyway, if people knew what you were going through, I'm sure a lot of them wouldn't blame you now <coughs> that you're a grown up. And you keep your head completely out of everything. You know? Oh, yeah. So obviously, the people that really know you mm -hmm. don't I just, see you like that. I only speak on shit as it happens you know like today in the parking lot you can't park there that was your own triggers man hey i no Randy you got had, a recording go ahead tell the story great logic okay? tell the story so god people were driving like crazy it's no gallus it's the busiest walmart in the, in the country now imagine thanksgiving week yes so we're there 
Ben went in knowing this, so he went in with like uh, an agenda, and he parked. We couldn't get parking, and people were just being douchebags, so we parked on the side. So there's one lane that says Pick grocery up. pickup, and there's another lane that says uh, what number was it? Two. Okay. Oh, one, okay. It was one and two grocery pickup, yeah. and then there was a blank space, and right in the middle of the two of them. <laughs> no, the, the sign on the left of us what did not that? say one. What there wasn't say? a one. It was just telling you it was grocery pickup. Okay, but that was to the left of the spot. It wasn't the spot. No, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We got it all on video. It's crazy. There was no sign there. So, we, so Ben's so like, why not park there? Because there's no sign. And um, Get it on video just for court purposes. So we did. Except you know? if you got me... If you got me doing Ben on video doing this, you'd probably hate him. So, because <laughs> the guy comes out and he's like, excuse me, this is for grocery pickup. And Ben's like, where's the sign? I don't see a sign. Yeah, and he's like, it's there, and it's there on the other side of it. And I was like, well, can I move this sign over here and then park over here? And then he kind of like, I don't know. He didn't do anything. He walked back into so his So I said, kiss my ass, and I walked away. And <laughs> at least you're honest. I did, man. I always walk into that place heated. It's my anxiety. You and know? he knew 10 minutes later, he looked at me and he said, I honestly think I just uh, came here expecting a fight. So Yeah, <laughs> literally, I came in there so anxious. Yeah, but he was aware of that I after the fact. He so. wasn't able to like correct it in the moment, but acknowledging it exactly. without me saying anything exactly. Thank is you. really important. I appreciate that, yeah, because I, I did yell at someone. And tell him to kiss my ass, but <laughs> he was just like he was just like nice man. <laughs> he didn't deserve it. He probably <laughs> never been told that in his life. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I didn't mean. Like he didn't say anything. He just walked away. No, man. he didn't. He was. He was like, oh, this is for grocery. Pickup. I don't mean. He didn't was, even say you anxiety. can't park there. He just said this is for grocery. Yeah, pickup. he didn't. He was like trying to treat me like I was dumb, like I should know better, which I did. Yeah. But, <laughs> I but fight yeah. the system, bro. No. Uh, normally when things like that happen, Ben continues to pile on the heat, and it right. gets worse, and it gets worse, and mm -hmm. it gets worse, and then it explodes. That did not happen this time. Awesome. Um, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he he was like, so he, you know, that, that guy, and then he came in and he calmed down. Obviously, he knew he was going to be busy. Thanksgiving is in three days, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, and so... You know, we're walking, and then he's like, I think I just wanted to yell at somebody. And then he had an idea to do a content piece for YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I felt uncomfortable because there were so many people, and I was just, there. we had the kid, and that yeah. just, like, really... Yeah, no, I was going to do the keto, the keto yeah, thing. Yeah, which would have been fine if so, it was the two of us. But so. I felt uncomfortable doing it while Connor was there. Yeah. Um, I just feel like... I need to set a better example for him, and it just, I didn't want to stop a bunch of people and deal with their reactions. Well, they were all obviously very busy, too. That, too. All the workers were running around like So then he just, like, knew he wasn't going to make content, but he didn't I get mad like, about it. He was probably a little frustrated, but... Whatever. It I'll wasn't, like, it. a deal. And then the line was so long, so... Uh, there was a really long one, then he watched a guy cut... So, so I followed him. So he followed him. Like, and then it just, just looked casual. like the line casually changed. <laughs> and, yeah, then, and then, like, everybody got behind me. It was perfect. No, I no, because I don't think anybody realized that you they weren't didn't know, there. Yeah, they didn't know there because was... nobody pays attention to the people in front of them. Right, right. So obviously they just... I'm not was, a line cutter, just so everybody knows. No, yeah, I just saw was, an opportunity, bro, was, and I went with it. Yeah, and anybody else would have, too. Because and I'm and, anxious. And I'm an anxious is, person. That's the, at the end of shopping. So yeah, I was extra anxious. No, this is at the end, but... I forgot litter, so I had to run and go get litter. Oh my god! And then I forgot the gloves I promised Connor, so I had to run and go get gloves. All while Ben is in line, and then he was like, "Just let me check out by myself, so I don't get confused." And it was just really calm. It was fast paced. It was like we got to get in and get out. That's kind of how it felt. It was like bracing ourselves. Oh, well, we did. But yeah, we got just what we needed. You didn't let everything pile on top of you. <laughs> you like experienced it as it came, but then you let it go. And you were uh, acknowledgeable about that. So, yeah. Thank you. That wasn't supposed to turn into a story, but... No, it's cool. I didn't even recognize those things about myself, so it's nice. Yeah. Check that out. I know, because I'm kind of... I am making growth, is what it sounds like. Yeah, but it's like... I don't know. It's crazy. I'm That's a little plan, envious guys. that you know how to do that better than I do. 
but I've been trying to get you to do that since I met you. And you've like, been shaking me since you met me. But you know what? You I'm know, old. you're good at everything, so I really shouldn't be surprised <laughs> that it wasn't that hard to get you to jump on the woke bandwagon, you know? Wow. So, Just, wow. I hope you pick it up when you come back. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> but he's got, like, cotton mouth, so. Yes. Because um, Ben gets high. Isn't that crazy? Anyway. Uh, so yeah, it newts. I have been trying to work on myself my entire life. <sighs> and you just like realize where you go wrong and then you fix it like you're working on something on the, in, on the car. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and I'm definitely envious because it's a lot harder for me to be able to fix. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. just the other day, you All know? All the time in the world. Instead, I just lashed out instead of even just saying thumbs up, you know? I could have done something simple. As just sending a thumbs up, but instead I unleashed my energy. We're talking about the argument with the ex. Right? Yeah, like I just. <laughs> yeah. It's in. It's no secret. <laughs> obviously, I could have like, acknowledged. Detail, but you know. I could have acknowledged the text. Still showed up on the day I said I was going to. Yeah. Just by sending a thumbs up emoji, like I don't care why you're mad. Oh, uh, it would have. It would have been six more long paragraphs. But it wouldn't have been for me. That's true. Uh, true, but true, true, but we all learn. Her yeah. and I chart. Her and I's chart. She's an Aries rising with a Cancer Sun and an Air Mercury. So her and I's chart is very alike in the way that we both reacted to each other. The way we would have reacted to anybody if it wasn't each other. So it was mm -hmm. just like not good. But Ben has learned to like let it be and let it go, and it's just like let it go. crazy. I don't get how he does it. Just lets things go. It's amazing. I don't know. We're not here to talk about Ben. Yeah, but that's kind of how it turned out. <laughs> I appreciate the compliments, and I don't take them well. It's not compliments. Well, I don't care what they are. It's observations. You're in your observations. <laughs> so anyway. Your analytics on me. Ben's also Attention. an extremist, so when it comes Attention. to Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. Oh my God. He's like, I'm throwing it out the window. I don't ever want to talk over. about it again. I I'm can't not believe it. Spending any family time? <laughs> well, why put in the effort for not a holiday? <laughs> it's not like that. It's more like I don't like what the holiday represents. If you want to make up a holiday, well, we could do that on a different day. Yeah. This anyway, day is like Veterans so yeah. Day. You know? Yeah. So. It's like feel bad for the fallen, you know? But that's the thing. You're not. Even, you don't even like labels. No, I hate labels. Obviously, Thanksgiving didn't happen on November twenty first, sixteen twenty one. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving kidding. is the last Thursday of November. It's like, it's not even a real day. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, so you put, you put labels on it, you decide it is Thanksgiving, because that's what the calendar said this year, mm -hmm. and then you decide you're not celebrating it based on a calendar with labels. That's that's deep. That's <laughs> deep, bro. <laughs> I fucked his brain right now. You just fried my brain, and we're gonna end it on that. All right. All right. Thanks we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Um, peace. Just only peace. Yeah. yeah. Peace. <laughs>